The current is actually fast, no? Yeah. It's a spring runoff right now. Mm. Yeah. What do you call the thing? The raft? There's people hiding from there. They're, I think they're swimming. The water is not too clear. Yeah. Can you see the train? People are there. That's a big one. Look. Look at the people. Yeah. The current is going this way. Windy, that's why. It's nice. More coming. We have up a here. kayak. The guy is doing kayak, eh? Hey? Yep. No, it's not a kayak, it's a. No? A stand up on a paddleboard. Ah, okay. We're using a kayak. Having some, and then more people. There's people there. Last time we came here, it was um, winter time. Ito yung hitura last winter nung kami ay nagbunta dito. I mean, guys, it's full of snow, and nobody's nobody's um, playing in the playground. And now, look. BC. People having a picnic over there. That one. They don't have much with this kind of shed. Yeah. This side they have playground and. and it's full. I just want to look at the yeah, yeah. I don't know what's that, but it stinks. Some kind of dog. I don't know what's that. <laughs> yeah, just wait until you get one. <laughs> okay. So there's tables for your food where you can eat. And some people bringing their own stuff for um, grilling that one. I guess, I guess they're not enforcing the uh, no fire ban here. Mm, I, don't, I don't think so. But uh, it's nice with the blooming uh, sakura flowers, eh? I, mm. I think they call it sakura. Sakura. You look, you can even use a fire ban. Mm hmm. What? Oh, that's sakura nice. Flowers are blooming. Niko na alam kung saan kami pupunta. Daming kahoy. Yan. May tao yata doon. May tent. Ayan. And then, you know, may upuan pa. Yung puti. Upuan. May upuan na. Huh? That would be a homeless person. Yeah. They're hiding here because it's not allowed, right? That's why yeah, they... Yeah, can't camp here. Yeah. Especially not live here. Yeah. That's why they're trying to put it in the... In the bushes, where mm -hmm. nobody can see it. What's going on? If someone will report it, and then the police yeah. will come and. I doubt yeah. anybody will report it. Yeah, for sure. Unless they're harassing people. Yeah. That I don't big. Care if they live there. Big dogs. Yung tent yun, may nakatira doon. It's already a normal thing. Na makakita ka ng. Uh, tao na nagbabahay or naglalagay ng tent sa mga uh, ganitong lugar kasi bawal po kayo mag tent maglagay ng mga tent or 
trail going down to the river. See? You can go down. There's so many trails going to the river. There's more. And this is one of those trails. Look. Looks like this is a stuff of a homeless one. Okay? Eh? Yeah. Mm. Definitely. Someone is living here. As you can see, that's his stuff. I wonder where he's going to plug that in. Yes, yeah, like what's that, an oven? Yeah. Yeah, yeah well, you can't plug anything in. Yeah. Mm. That's the fact also here in Canada. It's not, like, I mean, it's not only like in the Philippines or any other countries. There's also homeless here. But. Oh. Yeah, somebody lives here. Like. Uh, okay. Someone is sleep. They become homeless not because they don't have opportunities to work. Like or more than two, like mentally ill, some kind of drug addiction. Mm. But mostly, like disabled somehow. Yeah. So they can't work. But even if they are disabled, the government would would pay for. Uh, to live, yeah. not be homeless. But why there are many people out there homeless when there's the assistance from the government? Because they don't want any help. Like I said, like mental illness mm -hmm. or drug addiction. They don't want to stay home or stay in those shelters because they want to be outside. That's why they prefer living in the tent and hiding to these kind of places because it's not allowed also to build some uh, tents just everywhere. And then if someone will report you, the police will catch you. That's why they need to be uh, somewhere in this kind of places where less people and then like lots of trees. But it's not like Canada has um, less opportunities for them. If you are just mentally capable and then you are willing to work, don't think you will become homeless. No. Yeah. Canada might be expensive, but it doesn't make you. Uh, it doesn't make you. Ah, train. train. <laughs> long train. This is a very long train. Yeah. I didn't even know about this stuff. One. I don't. Trail. This trail? This is your first time going to the street? I know. Oh, I see. Like, I didn't know there was houses right here. Mm. Yeah, what the? Choo choo. Very long train. What's those? Oh, some kind of chemicals. Yeah. About the homeless. Continue na, Papa. What else am I say? <laughs> yeah, I just want to finish what I said. I want to might be expensive country, but it doesn't um, make you to the extent that you will become homeless. You will find a job and then help me. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> it's your video. No, you have to help me also. Yes, Canada is expensive, but if you know how to, um, you know how to work. Canada. Yes, it is expensive here. Expensive country, but. But if you work, mm -hmm. even at minimum wage. Mm -hmm. You will make enough money to pay for your basic things. That and includes, you will not be homeless. Yeah, that includes your shelter. You might not be able to buy a house if you are earning a minimum wage and you only have one work. You definitely can't buy a house with minimum wage. Yeah, it will take you a few more years. Not a yeah. few more years. Uh, probably Maybe. your whole lifetime to pay for a house. Yeah. At minimum wage. Yeah. Like you're starting to work 
and then your salary is a minimum wage maybe 10 years of earning that can make you earn to for the deposit hey yeah maybe. yeah 10 years and that's if you're live if you're renting a room mm -hmm. and saving all your money yeah and you don't do anything else but just save money save money and then yeah so don't expect to make all this money when you come here mm -hmm. Uh, with the minimum wage. Yeah, it, minimum wage and then one work only. But if you are like, yes, like some other Filipinos, some not only, but other Filipinos, other nationalities, they, uh, especially with an open work permit or they are already residents, since once you're already a resident here, citizen, you can work as much as you can, five jobs if you're capable to do that, then yeah, you can earn more money and then after of maybe 10 years of earning and saving you can already have some um, money for your um, deposit house deposit but or just come here make some money even with minimum wage mm -hmm. save your money yes live the rent in a, in a rental room yeah and then you can build your house in the philippines, in the philippines. yeah and then if you do that for 10 years, you can go back and retire in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. True. It's much nicer climate there anyways. Yeah. He likes Philippines. That's what he wants us to do to make, make a house there and retire in the Philippines. My husband knows some Filipinos that um, they were here for nearly 10 years yeah you guys still here yeah yeah they're still here and then yeah they they're renting a room yeah they're renting a room from the, my house yeah before when he was still single and, and they were uh, they both had multiple jobs yes and one of them they he built a house in the, back in the philippines yes they do have already investment back in the philippines like buying a land and a house yeah so yeah are you coming huh? I don't want to go on his trailer now, he just want to walk. We're walking slowly because of him. Come on, my love. I know, so much story. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. Ah, dirty. Uh oh. Come here. Yeah, go follow Papa. Yeah, that's it, our topic today. <laughs> nice walk, a nice topic, okay? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>